Hey guys, DJ here. It's Tuesday of uh, Bay Hill Week in Orlando. Uh, had a couple of days of practice out there now, and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. The golf course is in great shape. Uh, this is uh, coming to you with an update, kind of talk about what what's going on. Obviously, uh, as before, it's been kind of a slow start here in the year, and uh, just trying to work hard and and uh, reach deep and, and find my game a little bit. Uh, it's been certainly a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of frustration and things like that, but I really do feel like I'm making strides at this point, and uh, uh, I've, I've come to the conclusion, obviously, at 30 now, and after doing this for seven or eight years, that there are just times when, when the game just doesn't want to want to cooperate uh, cooperate with you, and uh, that's kind of what I'm going through right now. But uh, you know, like Dad always taught me growing up, uh, you got to work hard and just and persevere and. I know it's not anything to do with my fundamentals or my mechanics. I just uh, just haven't been able to get the right feeling on the golf course. And uh, right now, it, it, I've been working really hard again on the swing and things like that. And uh, it's starting to feel a lot better. I've, I've, I've kind of really tried to focus and I've, I've really slowed down my, my practice routine. And I think a lot of times, uh, even for, for you guys out there, I've noticed a lot watching amateurs on the driving range, you get into just beating balls. And I have the same habits sometimes too. And I feel like now I've just been trying to slow down, focus a little bit more on my fundamentals and my mechanics and things that dad taught me. And things are coming around. I feel really good about, uh, you know, uh, the way I'm starting to hit the ball, obviously my ball striking stats have, have been uh, not very good this year, and it's it's been like I said, it's been frustrating, and it just seems like the game's kind of beating me up a little bit. But as as we all know, the game is very difficult uh, at times, and even some of the greatest players in the world have, have, have certainly gone through their uh, their their slow times, and uh, it's just finding a way to get yourself back in the swing of things, and 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 you know so to speak, get your mojo back a little bit, but. This is also week two of the, the belly putter. Um, I told my friends I was a little bit uh, hesitant to go to it or to try something like that just because it, it seems like you've given up hope when you do that. But uh, in all essence, Dad and I were talking about it and the crazy thing about a belly putter is uh, fundamentally and mechanics wise, it's actually with that anchor point, uh, obviously being the putter being in your belly, it, it actually creates that somewhat of a fulcrum and uh, it's uh, it's actually quite comfortable, and and it felt a little bit uh, awkward at first, but uh, at this point now I'm feeling better about it. Uh, it seems the stroke seems much more effortless, and it's easy to repeat. And I certainly uh, would love to still be putting the old-fashioned way, but uh, you know, the guys have putted uh, tons of different ways and succeeded. Look at a guy like VJ Singh; he's tried every different putter, every type of putting cross-handed, split-handed split grip. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's just finding something that uh, you, can, you can keep good fundamentals with and, and make a stroke that you can repeat. Uh, good putting is all about confidence, and confidence comes from uh, being able to repeat a stroke. And uh, that's something I, I know I can tell you guys out there 100%. Uh, you know, Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicholas had funky setups when they stood over, the, when they stood over putts, but one thing they had that uh, you could guarantee was they uh, they had great mechanics of what they were doing and they they got themselves into a position where they felt comfortable to repeat a stroke each and every time as consistently as possible and, and so putting is actually the one part of the game where I think I would I would not say that you know you have to do it a certain way uh, the golf swing obviously dad and I believe in, in swinging the golf club one way and we feel like that is the most efficient way to do it and we believe 100% what we teach there and we that's the only thing that we support and advocate but with the putting you know at this point I, it's it's such a, a fickle part of the game and, and it's so frustrating because you can play a golf hole 450 yards uh, hit two great shots up there you know eight feet from the hole and if you miss that little eight foot putt you know, it just took you two more shots to go eight feet, and uh, it's a little frustrating to know you can hit two beautiful shots that far, and, and they look so pretty, and then you, you don't sink the putt for birdie. And obviously, we know we're not all going to make all our eight-footers, but, uh, you know, I feel a lot better about, about the putter now. I really had a pretty solid week last week at the transitions uh, down in Tampa with the putter. Unfortunately, my ball striking was, was uh, not up to par, but... Uh, as I said, sometimes the game just, just wants to beat you up a little bit, and, and it's just been tough for me to get a feel for, uh, for my swing. And, and we're playing some of the toughest courses all year with uh, West Palm Beach and then last week at Tampa, both very difficult golf courses.
Bay Hill Arnold Palmer's golf course this week. A very difficult golf course, but I'm feeling a lot better about the way I'm swinging the club. And uh, you know, it's Tuesday. We've got one more day tomorrow with the pro am to practice and get ready. And uh, I, I feel good about the way things are going. And so I'm hoping that uh, this week I can start uh, coming to you guys with some, with some good news and some some good vibes and all the all the things we want to we want to do to succeed. So. We'll try to get to you guys tomorrow. If we don't, we'll certainly uh, shoot a video Thursday after the round and uh, give you an update on how things are going. But it's a beautiful week in Orlando. We're going to have great weather for the tournament. Uh, a stellar field this week. Uh, all the top players are here. Tiger, Phil, VJ, uh, Ernie, all, all the big guys, and even a, a bunch of the Europeans that are over getting ready for the Masters. So it's going to be an elite field this week. Obviously, everybody shows up for for the Kings tournament, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's one of my favorites, and it's a great golf course. So we'll uh, we'll see you guys here in a couple days, and uh, to give you another update. Talk to you soon.